Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install macOS virtual machine on a Mac computer, which is using Apple's M series chips such as M1 and M2. I'm on a MacBook Pro with Apple's M1 Pro chip and 16 gig of RAM. Also, I'm running the latest build of macOS Ventura, which is 13.0.1. So I will be using Parallels Desktop as the hypervisor to run macOS Virtual Machine on my MacBook Pro. All right, I'm going to click on Parallels Desktop icon on my dock. When it will open up, it will prompt me to download and install Windows 11, which I'm going to skip it. In the Installation Assistant window, I will create a new VM. Under Create New, you can get Windows 11 from Microsoft or install windows or another os from a dvd or image file but under free systems you can download and install linux distros such as ubuntu fedora debian kali linux as well as download and install mac os so i'm going to select download mac os and click on continue all right now we need to download the mac os package for mac os ventura so i'm going to click on download it will take a while depending on your internet speed. All right, now it's going to download and install macOS 13 automatically on my MacBook Pro. Okay, you can see it is unarchiving the download file and in the background, it will be installing macOS 13 virtual machine on my MacBook Pro. Once it is done, it is again going to prompt me to install Windows 11. I'm going to skip that and I'll come back to parallel desktop and click on window and click on control center and you can see your mac os 13 vm so i'm going to power it on all right so now it's going to boot up the mac os virtual machine i'm going to make this full screen from here it is pretty straightforward to set up the mac os so i'm going to select the language and click next and I'm going to select the country, which in my case is India. I will click continue. I'll click continue again for written and spoken languages. I'll click not now for accessibility. Click continue on data and privacy. And I'm going to click on not now for migration assistant. And if you have an Apple ID, you can set it up, but I'll click set up later. And it says, are you sure you want to skip signing in with Apple ID? I'm going to say skip and click on agree on terms and conditions. Click agree again. And I need to create a computer account. So I'm going to specify my full name and the account name and a hint and click continue. You can enable the location services on this Mac by checking this box. I'm going to skip that and click on continue. And I'll say do not use for location services. And I'm going to select my place which is Bengaluru and click on continue. I'll keep the defaults for analytics and click on continue. I'll click on setup later for screen time and I'll click continue for Siri and I'll say choose for me to select a Siri voice. And I'm going to say not now for improving Siri and dictation and click on continue. And for the look, I'm going to select auto and click on continue. All right, there we go. We have the Mac OS virtual machine up and running. So if I go into about this Mac, it says Apple virtual machine one, and it's using the Apple M1 Pro virtual chip, and it's using 4 GB of memory. And you can also see the Mac OS version, which is 13.0.1. All right, so this is how you install Mac OS virtual machine on a Mac computer, which is using M series chip, such as M1 and M2, using Parallels desktop as the hypervisor. I hope you like this video. For more videos like these, please subscribe to my channel.